everybody, and welcome to Romantle's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now, this is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever does resonate with you and simply just leave the rest of it aside. Now, if you do have any questions whatsoever, you would like to contact me, please do so. You can find all of my information right below into the YouTube description box, and it will be my great pleasure to assist you. So please check it out. You should be able to find whatever you need in order to find me. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself. And I am always um, quite grateful and I do thank you so very much. Also, I would like to thank all of my subscribers, every single one of you. Thank you for being there, for listening, for sharing, for caring. I really do appreciate it. Also, I would like to thank all of my subscribers who have donated so generously to the channel. Very grateful, and I do thank you once again so very much. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading. Now, these are messages from your angels for you, so please do take whatever does resonate with you and just leave the rest of it aside. So let's begin. Very first message is coming from Bridget. This is about your inner strength. We're going to move on forward now to Commander Ashtar, and this is about a call to action. I also have Master Buddha, and we're going to complete this reading with a Melchizedek, and this is about higher learning. So let's start off with beautiful Bridget over here. This is all about your inner strength. Now, messages coming through here for you with Bridget is about moving back to wholeness. It's about recognizing that you have that power because you do. She is a powerful figure who can help you channel your energy into something that is important for your growth. And as she herself has lasted through the ages, this is about adding longevity to the journey so that you can reach a deep state of wholeness. Now, please, you can call on her. You can call on Angel. You can call on Bridget to bring her sacred flames to burn away anything that is not serving you. To bless any new project you have in mind and for that support with fertility, if that is something that you're looking for. Now, your spiritual fire is growing within. You need to recognize that the power of your soul it is greater than you think. And you have come a long way since you began this journey. There is a powerful force that is within you. And you, you have the ability to create wonderful changes in your very own life. And to inspire those who are around you to do the same. You need to be aware. Be aware of new projects, be aware of opportunities, be aware of fertile ideas that can grow into something that is larger than you may even imagine. So this is about calling, calling onto that fiery goddess Bridget to light the way ahead for you. Let's move on forward now to your final, uh, not your final, but your following message is what I want to say here. And this is with Commander Ashtar. Now, this is all about a call to, a to, um, to action. This is about taking charge. It's about leading by example. It is about walking your walk. Now, Commander Ashtar, he is there to lift up the hearts of leaders and inspires them to walk their own path and to complete their path with that beautiful integrity. So you're receiving a call to action and you're being asked to step up and to create the changes that you want to see into your world. Divine inspiration is all around you and Ashtar and his legion of cosmic angels, they are standing right by you to offer you that loving support. You have to know that you are being encouraged to be honest, to be assertive and to be true in a loving way. Now, you may feel that your ego is trying to hold you back, but you need to know that when you take the first step, the next is soon going to follow. So take some time to connect with the universe by looking up at the stars, knowing that there are loving beings of light gazing right back down on you and that you are simply not alone. 
Moving on forward to Master Buddha. And here is Master Buddha. This is about increased awareness. Now, this is about a deep connection. It's about trusting your inner voice. You have to know that Master Buddha, he helps you make contact with your inner teacher and encourages you to acknowledge how you feel and then to accept it so that you can move beyond the suffering maybe that you might be feeling. You're moving beyond the illusions that fear has created so that you can move but more focused onto your priorities and what is serving you onto this very path that you are on. All your suffering, every single bit is eventually going to come to an end. And acknowledging how you really feel and what occurred in order for you to feel this way is going to help you move beyond it. Please call on Master Buddha now to help you remember that you're part of something that is greater than suffering. The wheel of karma, it is turning, but it's turning in your favor and all of your acts of kindness and goodness are going to benefit you. Now thoughts, they just might arise now that solve issues in your life, in your home, in your relationships, or even into your workplace. There they're simply being sent to you from your inner teacher. And this is from your Buddha within. Now we're going to move on over to your final message. And this is all about some higher learning. So the message coming through here from your angel for you is about you've learned. You've learned a lot from experience all the way up to now. And this is about more study is now required for you to uh, further your progress into that area. So you've learned so much all the way up to this point and you're learning more every single day. You are recognizing all the great lessons that you experience and the challenges that have brought you to where you are right now. And they are preparing you for a transition or an inner ascension where you are going to be able to move beyond to another level um, of fear and into that inner sanctum of your heart and your soul. This is about becoming aware of patterns, of ancient symbols, of signs that are being sent to you from the universe. There is a sense that you are now able to focus in a new way and offer greater light to the world. Now, the angels, they're with you right now and they are leading you towards your spiritual wisdom. This is about meditating. It's about connecting with their higher light. And this, my dear friends, does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that uh, Spirit brought you some very interesting messages and wisdom that you will be able to use. If you have any questions whatsoever and you would like to contact me, please do so. All of my information is right below into the YouTube description box. If you have not yet subscribed, please do click onto the subscribe button and have yourself a beautiful day. I thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.